Hello, audience. This is Hope to Susan bringing you Dishonored. <coughs> Apparently, I'm coughing. Last time, we killed Granny Regs and Slackjaw, and then saved Slackjaw because I felt like a bad person. Did they take him? Yes. He's safe. Oh, that's such good news. Our boy is safe. He is. The boat captain was decent. Your cousin was on board. We can lay low and meet them tomorrow. Mm -hmm. we'll leave with the next mm -hmm. group. All right. We can share this Okay. Ah! That was awesome. Whee! Fist of Fortune 2, maybe? Not a clue. Oh well. Yeah. Some nice. some food. Good. I need some health. Crossbow bolts. Didn't really need those, but well, hello. Yeah. Nice. Anyone out here? No. Hostiles kill at five. Overall chaos, low. Good. Oh, I missed a painting. That was a long mission. Tomboys have vulnerable tanks of whale oil on their back. Ooh, I'm gonna... Please, 
No! Oh, it's you, Corvo. Thank the stars. We all thought you'd been killed. Except for Samuel. He seemed sure you'd survived. I saw him on the river shortly before the killing began. Killing. He was smart enough not to come ashore. But I'll bet he's still out there. Looking for you is my guess. At first, Pendleton said it was time for our bonus. Havelock stood behind them, and at the signal, he shot them each in the back of the head. Just like the target drills he used to. Lydia barely had time to scream. I would be dead, too. Except Wallace told me I wouldn't be getting anything. Pendleton kept apologizing, saying that no one could ever know about the things they'd done. Martin was drinking and seemed sad. The Admiral was about to shoot Callista. Then he mumbled something about owing her uncle, Captain Kurnow, a debt. They said it was time for Sokolov and went off to his cage. I don't know what happened after that. Well, it looks like we have a lot of work to do. Emily was there when the killing started. Oh. Poor child. I hope she hit her eyes. The Admiral said that Martin was right. I guess they talked about it. And they started to worry they'd get executed for all that they'd done, going after the Lord Regent and his allies. I suppose it's why they've poisoned you too. Okay. Can't even respect that girl enough to take her out of the room. <clears throat> I see how it is. I see how this day's going. I thought Lydia would squeal on Excuse me at you. the end. She just told Havelock to screw himself. And died. Lydia is the only one who ever showed me any kindness. I don't the think way. the Admiral actually knew I existed. Go! Thank you. I can hide here for as long as it takes. Seems that no one is safe when a man is that close to a prize like the throat. Holy friggin' crap. Said he was dead. Poison thrown in the river. If you ask me, he's long gone. The mask in the river left out. That's what a rational person would do. Not this guy. You have to understand the criminal mind. I hear they had to hide the Caldwell girl from him the whole time they were working with him. I heard they locked him in a cage and only let him out at night. The criminal mind, huh? So what's he doing now? Waiting. He's probably watching us right now. Put that crazy mask on. Creeping closer and closer, ever closer, until... Cut it out. What's so impressive about Corvo, anyway? Who's he got up against? A couple of high overseers, a couple of noblemen? He could never stand up to men with our training. Well, now I do hope he shows up. I want to see you run crying to the cover of the tall boys out back. Like you were, the other night. What was I supposed to do, stand there and get hit by rocks? They were just kids. They were a gang. I hope Lord Regent Havelock sends the tall boys in to level the place. It's gonna be a new era. Having a ten-year-old on the throne isn't gonna cure the plague. High Overseer Martin says it will. He says we were cursed when the Empress died by Corvo's black magic, and the rats are never gonna leave until we had a real cauldron. He says the outsider follows Corvo. Hmm. Some curse on this city, that's for sure. I'm still trying to forget working in the flooded district. Don't remind me. Before we go, I'm gonna stash a few bottles of wine from the cellar. Take them out of here with us. Just make sure Corvo's not hiding down there first. Maybe you're right about that guy. Well, that was an interesting conversation. I have to explore the farther possibilities of how scared these guys can really be of me, apparently. Oh, hello, tall boy. Not you. I don't need you afraid of no, It's just ridiculous. Stupid rats. Plague. <laughs> Licks. Bunch of crap. Hello there. I see you. <laughs> Your patrol is rather inconvenient. You always amuse me. I gotta get to Emily, though. 
whole place is blocked off. Hmm. I don't want to kill this guy. Oh wait, oh, 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 oh wait, oh wait. It's okay. Okay. I'll flush you out. Good thing I quick saved. Okay. Not hiding down there first. Maybe you How many sleep darts? Okay, I got enough. I know what I'm gonna do. Him. Didn't think this one out very well, did I? There's any choice but to kill that guy. Hmm. I wonder if maybe I can incinerate. I don't want to kill him. That's the whole problem. Is I don't want to kill him. Actually worked out better than I thought it would. Now where have locks orders, Captain Manning? We've tracked the conspiracy to the Hound Pit Pub, searched the premises for the natural philosopher Piero and Anton Sokolov. Do what you must to secure all the materials related to the enhanced arc pylon they have been constructing. Question them thoroughly and once they are, you are certain you have everything they know of the pylon, execute them both. Bring the pylon to me along with its papers and recordings. They may be two of the greatest minds of our age, but they are also traitors who conspired with Corvo to bring down the Empire. I'm keeping Empress Emily Caldwin with me at the lighthouse of King Sparrow Island until we're certain that Corvo and his fellow conspirators have been properly dealt with. Hmm. So they're keeping Pierre too. Man, there's just so much backstabbing. The backstabbers have been backstabbed. No guards, no guards, no. Okay, well, don't go in there. I have no reason to go in there anyway. Whoa, that was weird. Okay. Instead, we'll go upstairs. Oh. Didn't even let her keep her picture. <clears throat> You guys are gonna pay for this. You are all gonna pay for this. Pay dearly. <clears throat> I'm almost out of sleep darts. I could 
really... If I get to my room, I can get to Pierre's. Type blueprints. And the siege. Okay, well, it's an optional to incapacitate all the guards. What the heck? Where are you all going? There's so many guards. I gotta pause it. Like, subscribe, <clears throat> comment. Tell me what I'm doing wrong, how I can do it better. How I can do better. Okay, where did you go? Stay tuned to watch next episode. Thanks for watching.